Social media had been a go all weekend mm -hmm. on the uh, IVDs and yeah. his wife um, situation, the domestic violence between the both of them and how um, the wife died in the course of, you know, the Bohaha. It's okay. pretty sad um, what happened. Um, there has, I also watched interviews. A lot of people had things to say. Same. There people were a lot always of comments. Have stuff to say. Um, I watched, there was an interview with, um, Daddy Freeze and his and the late wife's brother, that's Bimbo's brother. Yeah. There was um, there were videos of um, the of Bimbo's sister calling in. Um, sorry, um, she was in the U.S. or somewhere in the U.K. Um, calling know, IVD calling out. IVD out. Yeah. Um, IVD had been on the run. Allegedly, Allegedly was on the run, you know, after the incident. But um, according to the police command this morning, he's been arrested and he's currently in police custody. Mm. And um, my heart really goes out to the children. And there were those children. videos he released as well. Yeah. My heart goes out to the children, you know, who Which are five, five. five, who have been caught up in this um, sad incident, because an unfortunate one. Because now, what happens to those kids? Mm. Mm. You know, when people were talking about all of the, you know, the drama and all, people say, why did she leave? Uh, after the old beating of 2018 that made it to the news, the one of 2020 that made it to the news, why is it that women stay? All I was just thinking of was those five children. As in, those five children. Like, they are going to grow up without their mom, as if that's not bad enough. If that their father as well. is, you know, convicted of man's of matter, daughter. they will also grow up without their dad. dad. Growing up with family members who, if they mess up, like, you know how it is when you mess up with your parents and your parents go, you cannot, um, you know, oh, le kwami. Mm. But in a situation, you know, when you're in that kind of situation, you will have children being told, please, I'm not responsible for your parents uh, not being here. Mm having to deal with that for the rest of their anyway, life. Anyway, I know that, um, so to be honest, um, there's been a lot of um, speculations and rumors regarding, you know, the, the incidents between the both of them, between IVD and his wife. Mm -hmm. We've seen videos, we've seen um, chats. Yeah. We've, and then um, there's his brother who did, like, it was a tell-all, you know, about everything that's gone on in their marriage, in his sister's marriage, you know, in the last 22 years or 24 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. I mean... Um, <sighs> okay, that guy, I was about to say Mike. First of all, that guy, uh, he's married for, been married for 20 years plus. Wow. He, I was su surprised, first of all. Like, uh, We've been married really? together since she was mm -hmm. 18. Uh, how old were you when you got married? Mm. Because he, he doesn't look to, he's quite a young guy. Yes. Like, oh, that means you got married quite early. So that means mm -hmm. that you were probably, there's still a lot that you still had to learn. Or learn. Both of you had to learn. Mm, so both of you absolutely. grew together. together. Yes. So it's most probably, uh, um, you know, Youthful love and uh, it can be cool. It can mm. be nice when you mm. go, when you grow because together. you're going to friendship. Exactly, yes. you know. exactly. So um, it's it's beautiful to see that kind of a thing when people are married young and are married that long. I mean, it, I was I was really so. But um, as it ensures, from what we see from both sides, you see something when it comes to violence, either physical or mental or Emotional. verbal. Mm -hmm. You know, something happens is that when you stay in it, there's some sort of a pushback. Mm. And from what we can see, in some ways, both of them were quite toxic. Mm. In some ways, to each mm. other. Mm. You know, the point is, there is now a care line. And a care line, you can do a proko. If you hear your neighbor, one thing is happening. Call. Call. Let people know. Yeah. Let public service, uh, public authorities get into that thing mm -hmm. and sort it and out sort before, it out. before it escalates. something happens like this. And we can say, who's wrong, who's right, who's wrong? Right? Let's get it to the authorities. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Please, please. I mean, yeah, we've talked about it a whole lot of times on the show, and we will not stop saying it. The domestic and sexual response violence team is there. They are on they are, I mean, um, you could just check them up online. All the information and all, you know, um, care lines to reach out to them are available on there. So please, uh, we'll take a break now, and we'll be back shortly. Stay with us.